It has to be of integrity and has to align with my morals and principles, not just in a business sense, but personally as well. So I actually don't agree with the concept that something is business and not personal. For me, it's all business and personal. Yeah, CT man, he uh, owns his own uh, company, he's an entrepreneur. And what he does is he builds relationships with companies, he helps them advertise. Helps them in anything that has to do with the media space on social media. Um, but he also has a product that he's launching. Um, one, of the, one of the things in personal development I have found is there's a lot of people telling people what to do, but there's not a lot of products that actually help people. He's building a product that actually helps people meditate, really kind of like get involved with their personal selves and, and to overcome uh, stress and stuff like that. So it's definitely something I'm looking forward to hearing about, looking forward to uh, probably investing in and, and, and helping out. And this is one way I can uh, also build my own portfolio up, so yeah. What we're providing is that like we're actually combining binaural beats and breath work and aromatherapy and all these things with the frequencies and the ambisonic sound and um, you know combining modalities um, with the bed and the vibration and the compression blanket all of those things together when you're doing a little bit all of them together at the same time uh, combined they create the effect it's almost like its own um, it's like a stacked experience that that you get a little bit of the effects from each one of them together um like puts you in a state shift relationships are more important than money because when you are building positive relationships with people when people trust you when you operate with integrity when you do well by them then they're going to want to inform you about the deals they got going on and involve you um, and then once you do that, then now you have multiple sources of income because you've been in a relationship with one person and they want, you, you know, you because of your expertise and they put in a relationship with somebody else and they want you because of your expertise. And then you plant these seeds. And even if you don't do anything with them, they'll, you have a good enough relationship with them to where they'll introduce you to other people. And so that's also a good thing too. So that's actually how I got all my clients. All my clients comes from referrals. I actually don't even advertise, so yeah. What happens if we can start doing inner work instead of just working out, you know, and being able to have the experts that are already have communities to tell that story. And we're not trying to sell any product, but then what we do is we tell them that to go take an assessment. You go fill out this form, you know, a little survey. It'll ask you some questions and it's gonna give you a score. I like the idea of this product, but see a lot of times in the personal development community, there, it's always a lot of, you know, you gotta read this, you gotta do this. This is more of a product that actually helps people. Deciding who to work with is sort of a guessing game. Number one, I integrity is the most important thing for me. Um, I like working with people that have integrity but you never fully know until you start developing a relationship with them to see if this is a person that you wanna continue down the road. You should always evaluate your relationships with people to see if they're fruitful or not. Uh, sometimes a relationship that was once fruitful is no longer fruitful. Um, so what I do is I am constantly evaluating whether or not this person is a person of the word, you know, they operate with integrity, um, and what is, what are their entrepreneurship about? Like, what are they actually trying to be an influencer? Like, what are they actually influencing? Um, and I pay attention to that and I decide from there whether or not I actually want to work with them. The three best ways I know I see myself in it, like what you were saying, strat social media strategy, distribution, you know what I'm saying, which is going to be on all platforms, Instagram, talk Facebook, YouTube, you know, Pinterest, whatever. You know what I'm saying? Um, and then additionally, 
I would love to work on the creative side as well. You know what I'm saying? And, and figure out different ways on how to promote it. I'm totally know, down. Video. So, because it's all about how do we really impact people's lives beyond just telling them that they can do it. Or, it's giving know. them the tools to help them find meaning. Yeah. Right? Because right now in the digital age, that's fundamentally broken. Yeah. People are looking to distractions, right? They're looking at possessions over things. I mean, sorry, possessions over things over experiences, right? Uh, they're, they're looking for the magic pill, right? People that are not feeling well, they go to the doctor, they pick a pill. But the thing doesn't actually solve their problem, it numbs it. This is a very holistic approach. It's not about how are you doing, it's not what I am doing, it's how I am feeling, right? Because if you just check in with how you're feeling, and you're not ignoring it, and you're not going, well, shit, I don't feel good. Alcohol, I don't feel good. Drugs, sex, like all of these things are just things that people use to distract themselves from the problems. Yes. They're running away from things, right? But one of the most important things I've learned, you know, as an entrepreneur, I came up with this concept called 100 Proof in Your Concept. Um, and I got it from when I was uh, in school. When I was in school, in high school, I had a teacher where you literally, he would not give you 100% unless you did extra credit. And that always stuck to me because at first I didn't like it, but it did taught me a lesson. And I use that lesson here in entrepreneurship and basically to 100 proof your concept. Whenever you tell a client you're going to do something, what you want to do is you want to go the extra mile. You want to uh, try to double that. And if you can't double it, just go the extra mile to where you're doing more than what you actually said you would do. Because what happens is they go from wanting to come back to you again to being a raving customer and now they're going to tell other people about it and now you're going to get more people to want to work with you so always 100 proof of concept people are at home and they're stuck at home right now they're starting to learn that the power of connection is the most important piece of their life and doing digital distractions the boom scroll of social media profiles is not solving that and so we want to create an opportunity for people to have gatherings together so if you remove the hardware just the app alone we want to create that opportunity being able to track your emotions, do little meditations, but do like global meditations, then the device just makes that much better. And so the ability to then finance it for 80 bucks a month, uh, but then have all of these features, advanced features where you can do 30 minute journeys. You can do, you can be a part of an online mastermind now, but now there's a virtual gathering where you're gonna, he's gonna do a talk, he's gonna do a thing, and then they're gonna, at the very end, everyone's gonna get on their device and then they go through the experience together. Let, let me tell you something, business relationships, are actually built interpersonally. They're actually, I don't even agree with the concept that something is business and not personal. I think all business is personal because I am personally invested in this uh, passion that I do. And whenever I try to help somebody out, it is part of my personal mission. And on top of that, it affects me personally. And I understand the concept of you know, hey, I'm doing this as business and that, but you know, I, I just, if, if it's, it has to be in integrity and has to align with my morals and principles, not just in a business sense, but personally as well. So I actually don't agree with the concept that something is business and not personal. For me, it's all business and personal. So um, yeah, that's why I have these personal relationships with a lot of these guys and I develop strong relationships with them because those relationships uh, turn into fruitful endeavors. So, yeah.